Over Eight, into box three. Seven, oh my goodness. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. <laughs> let's go Apex. So Apex, oh, no. uh, let's go Sparta. Uh, what, if, what if the laptop oh, tower no. wins? <laughs> oh no. Wow. Whatever's left, we're going to donate to education programs, Kyle. Is that how this works? <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Fluffy getting in on the action. Oh, dude, oh. you're getting Adele. Wow. Now, Fluffy is... Uh, unusually active in this fight against these uh, absolutely static and defenseless laptops. Let's, yeah, see if, man. Uh, let's see if Apex and Sparta can uh, start picking apart these robots themselves. Oh no, a little bit of friendly fire, a little bot on bot action. I foresee some very interesting technical support calls. Yeah, I'm not I so don't sure. know why it's, it's not turning on. It's overheating. I just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, no. I love how there's no timer here. This is just completely unsanctioned. Yeah, just give Destruction. the people what they want. Destroy all the things. Make it all broken. I'm fine with that. Uh, I think I, I think Fluffy is just getting angry. Uh, he's, yeah, Fluffy's getting frustrated by the lack of action. I don't think that's going to bode well for Spartan and uh, Apex. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how this is going to look. A 300-pound house bot crashing into two high schoolers uh, combat robots. I love that Fluffy gains weight every time we talk about it. I mean, clearly this, I mean, it's, it's a 400-pound robot, as everyone said before. And, uh, you know, gets a little bit of extra weight bonus. Uh. 500 pounds? <laughs> Whoever said it was 600 pounds? <laughs> yeah, right. <sighs> wow. Okay. I think we're going to give this one to the HP. Yeah, and uh, Chris, I think at the end of this match, we get to go in there and we get to choose which laptop we want to take home. That's... <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. I, 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 I hope it runs The Sims. <laughs> Your dad's been looking for a new laptop, Chris. Ah! All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are waiting for our next competitors over in the box. That's going to be Judge's Dream. They're going to be facing off. against Eruption. The winner of that fight will go on to face Caldera. Caldera, Caldera, Caldera. Oh yeah. We'll see how that goes. It's gonna be interesting. So it's 8.30 p.m. Thank you guys for hanging out with us all day, literally yep. all day. Really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, we've got a little bit more time to go. So we've got Caldera versus Judge's Dream. The winner of that fight will go on to face Dark Princess, which means if things go a specific way, we could have brother and sister fight at the end of the loser's bracket tournament, which could be really cool yeah. in the three-pound division. Yeah. The winner of that fight, of course, will have to go on to face Project Liftoff. Uh, I do not envy whatever bot has to do that. And by the way, they've already faced off against most of these bots in the loser's bracket now at this point. Depending on how their match goes, we might have another sibling fight in the parking lot after the event. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, we've got a good question here from... Hmm. Writer Liangle2, the shelf, yay or nay? Our thoughts quickly on the shelf, because I see they're, they're loading more robots in. I don't care. No comment. No yeah, comment. It looks big. I, I was really surprised at how big they, it was. That just, I, but I don't care. It's you fine. don't care. No yeah. comments. We're, we're not going to stick our, our necks out here. And uh, If I had an opinion, I'd give it on this one, but I just don't care. We it's stick fine. our necks out all the time. Right. 
Yeah, Got it. it can be a shelf. Like, that's fine. I like trying new things and hope maybe we'll try it this year and never bring it back. It's fine. You know what's see what crazy happens. is they just took a pit and inverted it. Yeah, okay. You no, know, truthfully, that is what happened. Right, that's a spicy take. That is All right. a spicy take. It's just an inverted pit. <laughs> it looks like pit. we've got a, got a grudge match here in Cage 2. There's no cash on the line. It is just for fun. And uh, who are we seeing here? Oh. All right, this looks like Wormhole resurrected yet again from the dead against, what is that, Captain Generic? All right. I have to say that like Wormhole is like the cat with nine lives because every single time it gets put into the box, it looks brand new, which is yeah. really incredible. It is really but incredible. But we've seen it explode Six, today, right? Five, several times, Yeah, actually. several times. Yeah. Three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Against Captain Generic, the king of the grudge matches. Captain Generic is okay. Oh, and Wormhole looks like uh, there is a piece of plastic that is now. That might have been out. a belt. I think that was the belt. Yeah, that's At one definitely point. a weapon belt. That was the belt. Now let's see if Captain Generic can absolutely peel apart Wormhole. Hard to say at this point, especially with that weapon grinding along the floor like it is. Yeah, they're not firing up that weapon anymore. We are down to a push and match. This is the least damage I think uh, Wormhole's taken this entire tournament. Just a little, just a little belt. All right, how much time has, has elapsed? You know, I know that when you go into a wormhole, time gets compressed. Has it been 10 seconds? Has it been 10 years? What is this, Kyle? Yeah, hard to say. Welcome everyone to the beginning Just of Norwalk Havoc. <laughs> we got a great day lined up for you. <laughs> All right, we've got Captain Generic with a good pin here on Wormhole. It looks like we've got about 30 seconds left here in this grudge match. There is no time in grudge matches. There is no time in the world. I'm hearing a, an exciting, uh, you know, update over the radio. They are asking for Dragon Princess to go to the green room. It looks like we will be seeing the finals for the 30 pound weight class. How much time is left there, ref? They say, oh. they say the gravitational force on a wormhole is so strong that even a wind cannot escape. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh we, kn we knew this was going to happen at some wow. point. Wow, come on, Bert. Bert, you uh, need to take anger, anger management anger. classes. Oh, no, now both of them. Bert, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Bert has gone bloodthirsty. Bert is done with this fight. He doesn't care oh, anymore. Oh, that's your end of the, the fight. The winner of this match is Bert? Yes, absolutely. Wow, okay. Knockout. Looked like he was about to lose his lid. I mean, really, between the competitors, I guess Captain Generic is the one that's still functioning, but Bert took that one. He just said, I'm done. I'm over it. I don't want to see this anymore. You know, that's the risk you take joining these grudge matches. Yeah, uh, you've got uh, you've got a massive, massive house spot in there with you, and uh, you know who knows what's going to happen with yeah. that house spot. Knows that he's not bound by any rules in those grudge matches, so he just kind of does what he wants. And if he doesn't like what he sees, takes full advantage. Now this is exciting. Uh, we have two Yankaskai children, Yankaskis children. Yankaskisies, uh, Yankakasai. Uh, loading in, we have Hunter with Judge's Dream loading into uh, Cage One, and uh, simultaneously we have Annika Yankaskis who will be loading into the big box with Dragon Princess. But first, we are going to see Hunter. This is loser's bracket round nine. Wow. Judge's Dream versus Eruption. 
Both these bots have dealt some amazing hits today. They've had plenty of time to work on their bots, so hopefully, yep, looks like everything's working on Judge's Dream. There's, what, three copies of Judge's Dream that they brought here today, so. Yep. Most prepared team. Now, Eruption is getting into the pink square. Yeah, so that's a little backwards. We're supposed to have a Judge's Dream in the, the pink square and an Eruption in the blue square. All right, we just got Rick rolled. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Here we go. Two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Eruption getting hung up on this mangled floor here. And uh, these two drivers are absolutely going weapon to weapon in the first exchanges of this match. Dream looked like it hit the roof. An eruption is pinballing around here inside of the box. Can't stop, won't stop. No, absolutely will not stop. And it looks like eruption may have high centered itself. Something there on the going. left side. I can't tell if it's a piece of debris or it's one of part of their own bot. Hard to tell, yeah, but eruption's got some. Yeah, it might be that wedge that got bent One of their little the wedge that got folded under, maybe. Not, I can't tell. It's hard to see from this angle. Judge's Dream's weapon seems to be down. But they've got more mobility for sure. There we go. Weapon kind of twitching back to life on Judge's Dream. Oh, oh. there we go. That's beefy. Someone asked Judge's Dream, where's the beef? That is right here. I got the beat. Waiting for their angle. They don't want to go weapon to weapon with Caldera if they can avoid it. Nice. Take their shot appropriately right there, heading in for the side. Now, I know that Judge's Dream would like to get back onto its, uh, its wheels. It's on its head right now. Yeah, not the way it wants to be. Those hits are not going to be as powerful. It still does some damage. It still uh, makes the judges happy. Oh, nice hit there. Yeah, good, uh, good picking your moment there, Hunter. One minute left on the clock. Oh, oh, huge still hit. landed on their head. Of course, it's a huge hit. Eruption just deals those out all day long. They're still missing half of that drivetrain. So we're down to the last 49 seconds of this match. Remember, the winner of this match has to go on to face Caldera. Caldera. And Eruption's weapon just coming right along. Oh, perfect. Judge's Dream back in the right allocation. Are they able to get that weapon up for the last 30, 30 seconds. seconds? If the weapon on Judge's Dream, it, it's twitching. Yeah, it's twitching. I'm not sure he can get a whole lot on it, though. Looks like it's not up to speed. So we're going to be down to a pushing match. There we go. Pushing him into the corner, showing control. That's what you need to show the judges in the last 12 seconds of this match. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That is the end of this fight. Wow. Power down your weapons. Make your way to the door. If not, don't you worry. Bert's going to help you out. Judge's decision. All right, guys. Who should we start at with this one? Loser's bracket round nine. One of these builders will be going home, eliminated from the running for the golden dumpster. Let's start with you, Don. Your thoughts on this fight, Eruption versus Judge's Dream. Yeah, it was pretty much back and forth um, in the beginning. Uh, then Eruption got its fork stuck under it and then it got unstuck. And after that, its drive was never really there so it's crab walking and uh yeah judge's dream did a really good job controlling the fight from there taking its shots carefully corruption did get a couple shots in but didn't really seem to affect judge's dream their weapon came back a little bit but got flipped him over once and it died again and they got a couple pins in it's a really close match uh 
but I think Judge's Dream. Wow, all right, we've got one vote for Judge's Dream. All right. Jack, your thoughts on this fight? I'm also going to go for Judge's Dream. All they right. Much better control once their weapon was down and they just dictated the pace of the fight throughout. Amazing. Two votes for Judge's Dream. Andrew, will this be a split judge's decision or unanimous?